Good morning, guys. Oops, I bumped the table and moved my elbow off. Sorry. It is the end of April. Time is flying. It's going to be fall in six months. Maybe five months, actually. Where's the time going? And the winds are blowing like mad today here. And it's blowing around. What is that? When the winds are blowing, it's blowing positive ions, and therefore you feel negative. Or you just feel off. And, <clears throat> and then the harder you try to do something, the further behind you get, or the more not good you feel. So what you have to do is, as hard as it is, is just stop. <laughs> but if you're at work, and it might be hard to focus on work, you know, the task at hand, what you're doing, it's called this is what I'm getting at when you change your thoughts when you change your perspective on something how you look at your situation it's the it's the negative self-talk it's the blame game It's positively, choosing positive. We have free will, we have choices. We always have the choice. I mean, some people say, oh, I'm, I'm hurt, I'm angry, just let me be that way. Okay, be that way, but don't live in it. Don't travel from that. Agree. Sometimes you have to agree. If there's something you can't change, you've got to agree to just agree to let it be. Agree to disagree, whatever that saying is, and move on. But ultimately, honoring how you feel, correct? And you know when you're looking at something negatively or that something doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good. Why do you want to stay there? Why do you want to be in it? Why do you want to continue feeling that way in that not good place? So what I was talking about yesterday about my life when I was a little kid, a little girl, and my teacher made this statement to me that he did about you could throw a brick at Teresa and she wouldn't say anything. And I laughed about it. But when I went home, or heck, right then and there, I immediately went within. And I thought about that. And I went, no, that can't be. Truly? When is it okay? <clears throat> To let someone or something dictate your life, dictate your life, and stifle you, hold your, you know, sit on your cork, so your cork can't rise to the top, or sit on the bubbles so they can't pop. I say, when and where and how did I learn that that was not okay? It wasn't until I changed my thoughts and my perspective did my life change. Now, let me tell you, it, I don't think it changed much then. It took me, well, I know that it didn't, because I took it with me, that thinking. Just as when you go anywhere in your life, you take yourself with you. Don't get involved with someone expecting them to make your life better. See what I'm saying? Don't expect. It's kind of it's that putting off for tomorrow what you can do today. 
agree to feel good right now and be in that present moment and love yourself and say, look at the situation, assess it. Is this good for me or does it not? And you know how you gauge that? Your gut, how do you feel? It's, that is your barometer. That is your, that is your answer right there. That is the key. When you are in a situation with someone, with work, with school, with a partner, and you don't feel good. And listen to these people around me. They are joyful. They are happy. That's another thing. When you get active, it raises your vibration. And just a quick side note, I walk my dog as I do every morning. And there's this older man who runs these two Goldens, Golden Retrievers. And as you know, I lost mine in February. We lost our baby, me and my two kids. And these two dogs are absolutely gorgeous. They are honey, honey blonde and bright blonde. They are beautiful. And my little Eddie remembers Keeper. And I stand there and allow Eddie to watch them go by. And your animals know, just because they can't speak the words the way we do, they know exactly what's going on. He misses Keeper. And it made me feel deeply before I came back and sat down to make my video. Anyway, that's my neighbor. <sighs> when I sit and I do my videos, she likes to slam her door. Anyway, <laughs> maybe she can hear me. Maybe I'm speaking to her. I don't know. Anyway, that's for um, that's another story for another time. But what I was saying, back to what I was saying. If you are not healed within yourself, if you do not like yourself, if you are unhappy with anything in any way, you're going to take that everywhere with you. And you're going to have everybody in your point of vision. You're going to hold them captive. And you're going to hold them responsible for your well-being and for the fixing of that which doesn't feel good. That is not fair to those other people, regardless of who they are, who they are to you, and what they're doing in their life or with your life. When you become, I always say to my kids, before they go off to work, when you get strong, where you stand, you, when you are strong, right where you're at. Remember the video I made about being authentic? You just be who you are. And when you have the choice, which we all do, do it with kindness. If you can't do it with love, try to, try not to be ferocious. <laughs> um, also, what I, I'm hoping to convey with my videos is a sharing um, of what I've been through and my experiences and not telling you guys that this is what you have to do because that's not the way it goes. We all have our lives to live. And we're all learning from each other. And so, I hope my dog doesn't bark. She's, we let her dog out. And my Eddie smells in the fence. Anyway, like I say, when you have the choice to feel good, why not choose that? I know we don't go out of our way to purposely feel bad, want to feel bad, or want to make anyone else feel bad. Sometimes, and like in my case, I should say, I, I grew up with a lot of uh, hurt and pain because my parents divorced when I was very little. 
um, well, the agonizing truth about mine is they, they didn't divorce. They did the back and forth thing for years, which did a number on the entire family, mentioning the two of them and having been in kind of a similar situation, it wrecked us. It created so much pain and havoc. But it wasn't until I made the decision, I had the choice to love myself. It's all about loving yourself, agreeing to love yourself. <clears throat> and when you love yourself, what? You want the best for yourself. And anybody in your focal point, in your vision, anything that you do is going to come out pouring of kindness and love, right? So as a little girl, I, I guess I held in that feeling of not being loved because my parents were going through what they were going through. You know, I, I would try to think about it. And where did I get the idea that it was okay for people to mistreat me? and be okay with them mistreating me, right? So you have to ask yourself this, these questions. So when I became old enough to discern, this is what I'm, when I'm getting at my evolution, my journey to where I am right now. For some reason, when I was little, I thought it, that was okay, I thought it was, and then furthermore, the even more warped part was that I went deep within and I buried these feelings and I felt like, <laughs> that person, I felt like if I smiled, just, just smile. Smile, though your heart is breaking, smile. La 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 la, you know. That's hard. That that saying of faking it till you make it, I hate that saying. Because that's not good either. It does say if you can't change a situation, look for the good in it. Focus. Try to focus and complete the task at hand to the best of your ability. But always honor your true self. Always honor your true being. And I carried this pain with me all throughout school, middle school, high school. My God, I, I hated high school. You guys, I hated high school. <sighs> this is terrible. It's absolutely awful. memory I'm having. Oh, but listen to the birds. They're doing their best to help me feel better. What do they do? They're like flowers. They just be. They keep going. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. High school and beyond. It wasn't good. The birds are soaring. Anyway. I realized that all the time I spent married to my person, we were so out of sync. I probably realized it in our 10th year of marriage. But there again, I buried it. I thought, nope. I sucked it in. I put 
my head down and went deep within and said, no, Teresa, this is your marriage. You're going to make it work. You know, I, I convinced myself it was the right thing to do. I didn't have well, one. I had two children. And I miscarried one. And what I did for... Mm, 15... 20 years is I went within and I focused, I put all of my focus and energy into my kids and it became us and him. Now, just to give myself a benefit, I won't say I begged, but there were times I pleaded with him to go to therapy with me and he did not want to go to therapy I don't know if it well either he was too good he didn't want to look at the truth he didn't want to look at the fact that we were not happy and it became a very domineering thing dominating he very much was controlling and he wouldn't do it so I withdrew and I put my focus into my kids I became ER duty at their school. I'm a nail person by trade. I did nails, cosmetology. And I did that for the longest time. And then I became allergic to the acrylic that I used. I couldn't get it near the, the chemicals near my, my skin. It hurt, it made my joints literally ache. <laughs> Anyway, long story short, as I withdrew and raised my kids, and they're incredible human beings because I gave them the most, the utmost love I could from my heart. And we had our best life. I could not control that situation I could only control me and my kids and I had a great time <sighs> got to be with the kids at school and the teachers you know their class their art their music their lunchtime their recess time I had a blast and I did that for 15 years there I am again on 18 minutes and I need to go and stand by what I say to you guys and not not keep you but I hope you're listening I hope anyone out there I've looked at my my what do you call it algorithms and I've got 33 people who follow me and I don't know if anyone watches my videos I'm not great, I will admit it, and looking at other people's videos. There are some people that I do. And since I don't, I apologize right here and now. And I will look you guys up today. But I'm gonna let you go. Oof. Oh my goodness, there is a vulture humongous flying over right now. I've seen geese the last three days, and I've heard them. But anyway, I'm going to go. I want to wish you guys a wonderful day. And I will be back to continue telling you my story. I wish you all peace. Come here, Eddie. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you again soon. And you do have a choice. And that choice is to be happy and do it with kindness. And if you can't, put your head down and walk by. Just walk away or walk through. But keep going. Just keep going. And realize everyone is on their own path. Okay? Just like you are, they are too. And there before the grace of God go I.